That's not the start. Fourth time lucky with Dave not interrupting. Let's start with agenda this week. Bank of England uh, with their CBDC. Uh, Coinbase and the SEC uh, getting rid of staking. Also crosses over with Kraken. Local Bitcoins uh, shutting down. We then have notice going out from the a lot of SEC stuff. Notice going out to exchanges and stable coins from the SEC and IMF and El Salvador's Bitcoin risk. Oh, nice intro, Danny. Thanks, Dave. Quite nice. speedy, wasn't it? Yeah, really wasn't good. interrupted at all, was it? No. So cool. Oh, where are we starting? Did you not listen to the agenda? No, right, <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> right. You missed it and then you go like, right, let's <laughs> jump in on. Blah, 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 blah. What's the price? Price first, always. 21, you missed that off right? the agenda, though. 21, 6, well, it's just part yeah, of the price. Yeah, it's, it's in every week. Did you put a roller coaster out on the, on the did, did we briefly break? 22 again. 22. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought you, what you were putting out because it was going down. Because someone asked, can we put the roller coaster guy out even if it goes down? No, we went up, we broke 22 <laughs> again for about a couple right. of hours and then it came back down again. Wasn't, it wrote, wasn't getting the response. Didn't have your it? Python butt ready. No, no not ready yet. To be honest, Will it be. wasn't worth it. One like. What? One like on that tweet. Was it yourself? I, no, it wasn't. No, okay. I didn't even see it. I'm not going to lie. That's mental. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't that's get it. all I got? I got, I'm, must be, whether it was throttled or what, because it was, was the GIF, which is the usual. And, uh, and what? Did you use hashtag Bitcoin? I did. And you still got one like? One like. From 30,000 I've not checked followers. how many views it They're actually had. Yeah. I don't know. It's very Maybe you are getting Even the bots are more su- supportive, though. Usually. Have you checked that you're not being... Uh, what was it? I what, didn't. what they call a band that's shadow band? Shadow, shadow band. I didn't check to be honest, but Twitter's been a mess this last week or two. I know, it's yeah. an absolute mess. I, I can't like trying to look through things and get your timeline is just chaos. Pretty sure the the Twitter analytics aren't even live. They just for, for up until recently they were just still saying that they weren't available oh, for like the months. Right. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. Completely broke. Totally broke. But price, yeah, is what it is. Stable coin again ish, uh, hovering. 21 and a half to 22 and a half ish mm-hmm. for the last Boring. week or two now. Mm. Any comments on price now? Yeah, should we go? So. There's nothing to comment on. No. Dave's still ill. Same shit every week. Dave's not ill. Dave. I'm on the lens tip. I'm still a bit ill. There might be a few costs. Less ill. Week four, you'd expect that. <laughs> hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dragging on though. You're, you're mm. really dragging Such on. Such a drama queen. Mm. He's a drama queen. Bank of England. Yeah, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> moving on from Dave. We give you yeah. sympathy the first day, but now it's just too much. Okay. Bank of England, ten thousand to twenty thousand pounds holding limit per person for the digital pound for the mm-hmm. CBDC. That news came out. I think out. they're just pulling things out of thin air. No, they're just like they're, well, they are. They're still like brainstorming. Yeah. This is all like in discussion. It's like oh, it's still until June sixth, you can still put forward any yeah. little bits and pieces. And this is just one that people have picked up on. In fact, they, they, I think they put it in place because there was a worry that they would undermine the, the current banking systems. Mm. Exactly what we spoke about on yeah. the last podcast, week. Yeah. Last week yeah. or yeah. before. So they've, they've, they've literally said... If, yeah. They've realised... Fundamentally, you could say, right, everyone moved from the pound to a digital pound they might see as a stronger asset and that would create a bank run on every bank, theoretically. So they have to limit it. It's, so it's, I guess they, they have to. Different... Save the banks, they have to. Yeah, but then they're also talking about who who has programmable rights to the digital yeah, pound in the sense that it would be a cu- the current banking system rather than the government itself to maintain independence, give it to the free market. So which... they're not, I, I was, so it's two different things. Have I missed this at some point? The pound and the digital pound are going to be two different things. No, no, the, no the people would move, the, like if you had your pound GBP in a bank, yeah. you'd have to like move it to... A central bank, central bank currency, currency, which is mm-hmm. at the but Bank of England, for example. They should right. still be fungible, but you might see a, having a pound at in, an independent bank mm. as being weaker than having a pound at a digital, a digital pound, if it ever comes out, hypothetically. And it means right. weaker because if at a bank, there can be a bank could go bankrupt and you lose your money up to 85,000, whatever it is in the UK, yeah. it's yeah. insured. But actually hold it at the Bank of England and they're not investing that and doing anything with it. They're just holding it 100% reserves. Whereas right. a bank's operating fractional reserve banking so there's a risk holding it at a bank whereas if you hold it in the central bank digital currency at the bank of england there's no risk to losing that yeah. okay except the government taking it off you so then the, the problem risk. if that is the case if people start thinking like that they'll move all their funds and then there would be a bank run mm-hmm. and then because they're all fractional reserve they haven't got the gbp to 
give out. Yeah. And then, then you have a problem. So this is just a, a safety net, hypothetical safety net on that situation. To protect the banks. Yeah. Which again is then why are we protecting the banks? Because you fundamentally, they'd still need the banking infrastructure to run the digital pound, is what they're saying. They go hand in hand. But they don't, do they? And they, they can't they, completely cut Not out. to run the digital pound. They need it to run like loans and mortgages mm -hmm. and things like that and other, other various uh, products that banks and banking offers, but not just the pound in general. For yeah, but use. the UK doesn't want to... It's, well, the financial services of the UK is one of the uh, like bedrocks of the economy. So you, you, you'd be undermining it. So if it's you their were. fault mm -hmm. the economy is in the state is. <laughs> <laughs> this back <backfired. laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you're yeah. saying. I agree. And it is, but the... Yeah, it, it's not, need, this is, I guess, the problem. There's with literally any, no reason for ACBC. it at this point. Yeah, yeah. The, mm. the point goes back to my question from a couple of weeks ago. Can Once they've finished analysing this and figuring out what they're doing, can they give us a list of the pros and the cons mm. of ha adding a CBDC uh, for yeah. retail, so for consumers, and then for uh, government or... But that's instance. what I think they are doing. The consultation ends, ends June 7th, so we'll hear something then. Starting to. Mm. It sounds like someone who might have applied for the job. Yeah. Yeah. Heard anything back? back? No. 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 Right. I'm not the type of guy they want. I don't think. <laughs> no. You look too edgy. Yeah, guy looks like a tramp. Too edgy. You need to put a suit on, you get the yeah. job. Um, but I mean, it is just, a, you know, what's if you can only hold 10 to 20,000, then they were saying, I think, that if that's the case, most people can take their salary every month into it mm -hmm. without an issue, at which point you are paying your salary into it and just operating on your salary from there but then you wouldn't be operating then on a bank so it, theoretically that already creates a bank run in itself because everybody will be getting paid their gvp into the, the cbdc rather than the bank and then the yeah. bank would rely on that every month from my uh, issue but even then you have to, to get like mortgages and something and stuff you want your salary paid into your bank because they can then decide if you can afford it and all that kind of stuff if you're not using the bank and then you just have to then provide the bank. Yeah, yeah. Bank. yeah. So it's like point but, no, but, the, the, no, yeah. but the bank is the the where the, the hub of programmability will be, not the central bank. So if the bank is offering you a mortgage, say, yeah, then the, the bank the bank that can program your payment with your permission, obviously, no. at, at first for now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like all things, yeah. <laughs> um, they could then say, right, they, they, he the first payment, the payment that comes out of his account is the mortgage payment, yeah, no matter yeah, yeah. what, yeah, yeah. So they could, you might be able to get better, but mortgage rate. They can already do that though. It, yeah, but it's under your. My bank can do that already, but it not if it's a separate bank. If you're like, if if you if you're banking somewhere else, you have to make a mortgage payment to a different bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you can control. You can just stop that. Yeah. Whereas it, the the point could be that. You got a central bank digital mm. currency, and they they have control over. Well, is that pro to the bank or the user? No, well, I think it's horrible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, it's not. It yeah. sounds, yeah, it sounds yeah. pure dystopian. The control yeah. is not yours. Yeah. Um, no, I don't like any of it. Programmability no. for well, me is the other something we should be fighting against. To, to clarify on this as well, they have now spoken about not using blockchain, and they're just using yeah. a database, <laughs> which is what you know been saying for a long time because it's pointless <laughs> using a blockchain yeah. for this. Um, and they also, what was the other thing they said about? Uh, smart contracts. They're still calling it smart contracts on this to do clever things like what you're talking about. And it's like, well, it's not really a smart it's contract. Code, yeah. It's just code. <laughs> it's an if this, then this job done. It's like, this is really... It's no, honestly, could, I could run it, it all on Excel. You could, I could do yeah. a smart contract on Excel. Yeah, if that's, it's that. that's what the terminology yeah. is becoming, yeah. yeah. What is a smart contract? What's yeah, the what, definition? Like, when did that come about as a smart contract? Is it an Ethereum thing and they like a smart contract on the blockchain? Is that when that first came out or is it a coding term? I can't remember when the... Uh, no, it was, it's not really a coding term that you come across. But you're right, it's just a simple if statement, right? Yeah, most of the smart contracts are dumb contracts. They're not clever. They're just if this, then do this. Yeah, yeah. Effectively, on, even on like Ethereum and stuff, they're and not... Someone just will resell them as smart when in fact it's dumb. Yeah, some of them get more complex as... Depend yeah. on what you're trying to do with it, but yeah, something like this. An embedded is literally, it. it's well. just code. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just business just logic. Code. It's just code. Yeah. Smart contract is yeah. just code, but they're just trying to. You know, I'm a dev now, so I get it. Else yeah. ifs. Yeah. Throw an else if in there. Yeah. Mad. But if money to pay mortgage is there, then pay mortgage. Mm. Do you think there's any world we live in then when they do all this consultation and stuff and go, well, this is pointless? Hmm. Do you um, think maybe. that may happen? Uh, yeah, because you can well, get, if this is a governmental conservative decision, you might get a Labour Party getting voted in by the people saying, no, we don't want this, you're spending our public funds on, on what we deem to be a waste. Mm -hmm. I think um, what part of the problem, though, is whoever gets voted in to 
do this project and that they will probably lead it going forward so they'll say yeah we need one because it kills them a job for the next 10 years of creating it and messing around so it'll be very biased in terms of the outcome yeah but then there'll be a regulatory review about government spending they'll realize they spent 10 million pounds on this and it could yeah, that's be always better. after labor would always late, labor buyer would always say it's, it's better spent on you know public services on bits yeah. and pieces of the nhs so well, well that salary for the job it's not 10 million so I know, but by the time the consultation of 7th <laughs> know, of June and everyone's know. rolled in. But they'll need a team of 7,000 to come yeah, in and build yeah. it and all sorts of around it. Um, but we've seen that happen. They, they spend, the bu- they get the budget, they spend it, and then they come back mm-hmm. and say, oh, no, we shouldn't have done this. The problem is if it gets into another another country and they see huge economic benefit from it, whatever that would be, then the government will be under pressure to put one in. Well, they're all under pressure now to pretend they're doing one because everyone else is saying they're doing one. Little Lily now. It's like they're all, just calling each other's bluff, aren't they? It'll all just be on Excel, which is the sad, depressing <laughs> thing. <laughs> Bird, Excel. Signal. That's, yeah. Just to use Excel. Well, I was speaking to my, I've got a CFO mate, um, a bigger insurance company, and he was like, I was speaking to him about the grief I get from you boys <laughs> about still using Excel daily because it's the best software it's terrible. ever. And it'll never, it's ingrained. And he was like, yeah. And this is a massive billion pound company, and he's yeah. like, "Yeah, they have we to use, use it all the time." Yeah, they you have go, to. Like, no getting away from because they're stuck. Well, it's still terrible. Because they're stuck in this game. It's still terrible. Literally. There's no alternative. It's so code. Good code is mobile. Code is, yeah. If you can understand Excel, you can understand. The code world. is the alternative. You can automate everything. You can own <laughs> yeah. Excel. We can automate. We Code's do that. that. We do a lot of that for you. The tech guys do that. Automate a lot of stuff for you that you could pull out and do in Excel. Yeah, but then we take that your little SQL queries and turn them into actual magic usable bits and pieces. But we, rather than but, just but, your endless list. If, but we could if do. tech had time, tech could automate that and just yeah, display yeah, sure. a graph on the page. Automate you out of a job, mate. Keep talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'd like to see you. Tell your CFO, mate, that. I mean, I'm quite yeah, like I'm that I'm now. <laughs> mate, all I have to do is pay the ch- chat AI £40 a month or whatever, and I'll get you or everyone out of a job from tech. You're being replaced faster it's than a me. Bad. I'm game for that. Whoever can right, who can replace each other first? No, we've already got it. we've already got a challenge on me and him about if, if I'm going to be tech lead fundamentally. Oh, yeah, if yeah. I can solve this, we've got a problem with an ESP32 yeah. reading an NFC type reader. Yeah, and it requires. I mean, this has been ongoing for at least two months now. No, right? we haven't had time. So, yeah, we've been yeah, 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 we need. Yeah, we have We need to get back on that. So we've got a problem with an ESP32 chip reading an NFC. Right, it's the passing problem. And if I solve it before he does, I'm going to be tech lead plus normal job role here That's fine. and he's going to be change his job title to assistant to the tech lead oh, yeah. which is me <laughs> absolutely fine with that. Yeah, fine. so if that happens <laughs> watch this space because that's that made me very determined you were to get playing the big that. big i am i'll get it done this weekend yeah, get it done life this weekend. gets in the way Jeez. what happens if zach gets it done first yeah well he can remain tech lead and i'll be assistant to the tech lead can you, can you know, <laughs> no, you want to be the assistant can we not demote you to junior accountant uh, no. Ele- no. Like give take no. charge. <laughs> no. <laughs> not allowed. No. No. That's not that's not the I agreement. was using the chat GBT at the weekend. Have it's, you got an account with it? Uh you can have a free account. Can you? I thought it was paid for. Um you only get access when it's there's not high traffic. Oh, okay. Um it's pretty stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's yeah, not it is. Amazing. Is I'll it better than Stack Overflow? It's quicker. It's like a new search engine, right? Be- yeah, I, yeah. Gonna pull yeah, it I was treating it as a search engine. Um hmm. But well, I, thought a few it had, things I thought it just... had unique answers. So like a was, search engine is just a scrape. And yeah, I was wondering how up to date it was. I, I asked it about Nostra, didn't know what it was. Well, you said, what's Nostra? Yeah. You didn't know. He was like, I think you've spelled that wrong. Like, <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> so stuff like that was interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's not, not as good as you think. It's handy, yeah. though. Yeah, it sounds like food from someone. No, who's no, it's scared good. It's handy, but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's not like this next that's level AI. Uh, <laughs> Spreadsheets of the future. If, you, if, <laughs> that is, if your plan is to fix this problem by just talking to that twenty four seven, then then I'm comfortable. The times I've asked it ESP thirty two questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you spelled that wrong? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. we digress. Should we move on? <laughs> Brian Armstrong on SEC wanting to get rid of staking in the US for retail customers. I don't know. That's probably the title that more cro- more so crosses over. So Kraken did last he, week. Did he tweet out that before the Kraken stuff? There's been, I can't remember what. Really similar times actually, wasn't um, it? I think they're getting, they must be getting pressure as well. And they are, that's what it comes on to. There's another mm-hmm. story about that. If you'd read these stories, Dave, which you yeah. said you had. All right. Um, that their head of legal tweeted, uh, we spoke about this, I think last week. Mm-hmm. Um, 
had a legal tweet about it saying, yeah, they basically they're going to fight it. I think is the plan to keep staking available to right. Coinbase customers. So they're going to take that SEC to court for it. Um, but what happened? Which is brave. Which is I, they're going to have to do that sort of stuff though. They've mm -hmm. got the money to do it. Yeah, well. it sounds expensive. It's going to be very expensive. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Jesse tweeted out saying, "Yeah, this is going to be very expensive. If anyone dares do it, and Coinbase are going to go and do it." Oh, Jesse from Kraken. So. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't do. They didn't fire. They were just, just gone. Right, we'll turn it off and pay the fine. Apologies. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm. You see him saying about the fine. Sorry, should we go back and what this is? Kraken had for people that don't have a clue. Yeah, no, that's Kraken a good idea. had to <laughs> uh, remove staking from their platform for US customers only um, because the SEC said that that was a... Um, Do we have to describe what staking is? Staking is where you can put your Bitcoin in and, and earn from it, right? Put your cryptocurrency and earn something from it. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's an interest account effectively yeah. in what they're saying. Has this come off the back of the whole earn thing going tits up with... Yeah, I think yeah. a little bit. I think it's probably already on the radar, but yeah, coincidentally, timing-wise, yeah. after Gemini earn kind of yeah. collapsed um yeah it's all started to come out a bit quicker maybe now mm -hmm. um so yeah that has happened <coughs> good job no, no, actually <laughs> that'll help sink there yeah <laughs> next time you want to do that <laughs> do you put your hand up and, we'll and i'll pop <laughs> do it at the same, same time, time. and then that'll help mikey out trying Perfect. to cut that, cut down the yeah. cut down that <laughs> yeah. annoying noise if anyone needs to sneeze as well at the same time <laughs> I'm, gonna make, hands I'm, I'm gonna make an annoying noise mikey yeah and raise your hand cough mm -hmm. right hand for yeah. sneeze yeah. Yeah. So well, i don't know i have to differentiate the same edit process <laughs> um so yeah kraken have kind of shut down they got a 30 million dollar fine um at the jesse was tweeting about um where because people were asking where's that money go to and i think jesse actually tweeted saying something about uh it just sends off to he writes the check to treasury i think it is uh, it's probably going to end up in ukraine's pockets or something oh, yeah, so like, yeah. yeah yeah it was yeah. a bit of a, the yeah. fca in the uk actually put it to charities Okay. Interestingly enough, yeah, people that. don't really know that, but that is a, it's charity donation after they oh, take okay. out their running costs of derived from the fine, and then they send it to charities. How do they decide the charities? I don't know. It depends who's in power at the time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know what more there is on this. So the so Brian Armstrong's coming out swinging against the SEC, right, saying that staking he thinks staking shouldn't be shouldn't get rid of it they should keep it um for us customers he also said regulation by enforcement doesn't work so he's he's, he's really chopping at them isn't he they have to they have to fight all their products and all their offerings are and the way they make their money a lot of the time is on the back of these sort of products and these things so yeah they have to fight this um i don't know how much of their revenue they're public so maybe you can see how much of their revenue comes from staking and other things outside of just buying bitcoin or buying crypto um but they're going to theoretically lose all that Plus, will they lose the buying and the selling from them customers that were using their service for staking because they go somewhere else to stake and then they start trading elsewhere? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Coinbase are going to have to be worried because I think the majority of their customer base is US. So if they go elsewhere, who else can offer staking to US customers? Nobody can. Uh, I, I'm sure Binance probably do because they just don't <laughs> care and they just offer anything <laughs> to anyone. So I'm, I wouldn't point past them doing it already. Um, is he st saying staking isn't a security? Is that his battle? Or is it? Is it more like... It should be allowed to stake because the interest of innovation and growth in the crypto space in America. Don't know. Because that's, I mean, it's got to be the security part, isn't it? I think. I haven't read what his argument is mm. for it at the minute. Because mm. if you registered with the, as a security provider, then you can do it at that point. Yeah. So they could just go and register as it yeah. and then provide what they have to provide, obviously, to the SEC of what services they're offering, how it functionally works, and then they'll approve that their mechanisms of how that works in the process and if they approve that then that's but then do they have they'd have to get every single coin approved that they're staking right not just them probably not the, I don't it know. depends on their process no idea for them um mm, it just yeah. seems like is there a better alternative than fighting well, is, if it's something new like for us with the fsa over here if it's something new that we're putting through we well, speak we're them. fortunate enough to be mm. able to sit down and talk through things which we have done many times um and sometimes we've gone in with the thought process of this is actually requires a money transmission license or something and then we sit down with them we go through it all and then we figure out we get to the bottom of it literally sit in a room draw it out on paper figure it out explain and from the start explain what bitcoin is basics yes and then we've got to 21 million we've got to the bottom maybe three times that i'm aware of that we've been through now 
um, of going through, sitting with the regulators, working through it all, and then they've said, yeah, no, it's fine, what you're doing doesn't need a licence or doesn't need a particular thing that we were looking at potentially having to go for, mm. uh, and we can carry on. Um, so that's everything from... But that's a much better way to do it than like yeah. the SEC now coming at them and saying, no, you've and if, been doing this wrong. But that's, but that's the biggest point. That's that's kind of what they're trying to do. Regulation by enforcement. It shouldn't be that way. No. That's what I've always said about regulators. It should uh, it should just be open communication, which we're lucky yeah. enough, enough to have here. Yeah. Zero, let's work well, this out. Yeah, I think the the intent from both sides has to be genuine. I assume, that's, I assume you couldn't do that model in the US just because everyone has a hidden agendas and... US is very different, isn't it? What do you this mean, little what small do you mean hidden agendas. Well, everyone are from both sides. The, the, I don't necessarily believe their intents are genuine. Well, the SEC's intent isn't to protect customers, and no. Brian Armstrong's no. No. intent isn't just to it's protect customers. How to many, grow the crypto space in a different way. How many of them customers no. are going to get access to that thirty million dollar fine? Mm. Zero. Well done, SEC. I know, but they're, 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 it means you can't carry forward, and protections have to be put in place for the future customers and the customers they already have what have they protected who have they saved in that scenario and, the, and well they're calling into question not, not any getting, regulation at that point aren't you? Not, uh, yeah i am yeah yeah completely exactly that. no yeah. no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it needs to protect well this is, goes back to the original argument about the uh, proof of reserves and stuff like that mm. the regulator the one thing in my head in our industry of what regulators should do is part of the regulation is they're doing aml and uh, the usual checks from a money laundering perspective and a criminal activity perspective, but they're not doing the checks on the consumer. All the regulations that have been in place over the years has never been, the whole of our industry has not been about protecting the customer. It's been about criminal activity, protecting and, and almost policing in some respects, criminal activity and money laundering side of things. So all of that is what regulation has been around. It's not been around consumer protection. Now they're trying to bring consumer protection in from an investment perspective and all these sort of things and saying, Make sure if you're if you're buying this cryptocurrency, then you know there's a chance that there's a risk that you're going to lose all your money, and that you've got to then as a company we've got to give warnings to people to tell them these things, which is is fine. People you can give the warnings whether they read the warnings. But yeah, that's or care, a bit superficial. It's like oh, you need a different to, question. You need to put a warning up, and then yeah, everything's fine now. Click click so click click click. No one's not, not protecting anyone, anyone by that. Yeah. And then, but the actual protection, which none of them are even cl clicking onto and caring about, which I've banged on about in the past, is check with that. Bitcoin that a cryptocurrency exchange of check their proof of reserves and check their funds and check their operating um, not insolvent effectively um, and that is in my head that would be the biggest protection at the minute for um, customers losing a lot of money as we've seen with FTX and Gemini. Yeah, and would it, it would have helped the FTX yeah. piece which is where a lot of this is born from right? As long as they did it properly and didn't just brush it off as oh, yeah, yeah, these guys FTX, have told FTX us these were audited. They were ordered so, yeah. by a Bahamas, was it a Bahamas <laughs> auditing company that now is stopping auditing anybody, I think. And it's just, yeah, I think it was a one and done. Did, did they pay that? It wouldn't surprise <laughs> me if FTX owned that, that, that auditor and just, or invested in them. Like what they were doing, they were just throwing the money around and buying these companies. They bought the bank uh, yeah, in. You've got respect to respect a third party audit and auditor's report. Well, you couldn't because they ordered it saying, yeah, they're all right. Yeah, but and they I mean, that wouldn't be the, the first time in history that that's happened to it like a lot of firms that no. go bust have mm. had previous audits yeah but you do get you do you have an but, element of security in knowing that that process has happened but that's why you have audits like we've had a couple of audits in that scenario haven't we we've had um we did have an accounting one at one point in terms of the processes we do things we did a, a compliance audit from a third part external third parties to check we were doing things correct and we mm -hmm. have to provide that to the regulators and show that so you have them third parties but it's having a a reputable, uh, trusted third party that can do them audits. Do you think as well? Uh, uh, one, no, but do you so think the big four always get fined for fair audit failures yeah. for every year? And that's usually, so even that can't give you a lot of comfort. But it, but it would give you an, a ballpark comfort more so than not doing or having some random company in the Bahamas do it. Do you think there's a education gap of these auditors understanding how to do it properly for the likes of cryptocurrency? You can pull the wool over people's eyes. Yeah, too, so are they scared of that? Yeah, I getting mean, hoodwinked anyway during the auditing process. Well, we've seen that the audits that we've. Been I mean, yeah, but the, the first thing the audit would do would be like proof of reserve anyway. 
But they don't. But they don't know what that is. The, how the, would they the do that? The problem is the structure of the they, they FTX. Look at, yeah. well, but they look at the... 23 companies in there. So you no, know, but that, that was nothing. It was the main one single company that, or two companies that they could have just looked at and realised they were operating insolvent. That it wasn't like they needed all of the accounts from all these companies. They just needed them two. Or one of them would have been... Yeah, not sure. really right. I suppose there'll be some sort of investigation into the audit failing. That'd be quite interesting to know where that... The, the company should have, I think. Or well, the order shut down. Yeah, yeah, I think that just switched off and just yeah. was like, see you later. I think I'd have to double check that, but I thought I saw something about that in like December. I mean, they can't still be going, surely. But no the, the guy that them. did it would be like deregistered from whatever institution he's associated with. Some random guy in the Bahamas, nobody cares. It's like, you know, ne- know what, what really island can we move to next? Purely hypothetical that that might not have happened. No, I might have might a look for that for next week. Update on. That'd be interesting, yeah. Mm, where the guy is, or guys, or team. But if you get it done by KPMGs, PWCs, like you're talking about there, then it gives it, still it more fail. credibility. It can still fail, but Who okay. did they do recently? Did they, oh, no, the um, the pastry, big pastry chain in the UK. Um, forget its name. Greg's? No, Le, le, <laughs> no, le something. Le Petitier something. If anyone remember, it did fancy no. pastries. No. KPMG did it, and then it was literally a few months later, they were like, no, this... This is going under. Why and they, within the audit report, they literally have to state if it's a going concern or not, and, they, and then say we agree with the director's report. But then, that, so they agree. People with the make mistakes. Like, the audits can make mistakes, but they well. weren't. Yeah, but their, their some mistakes, structures are very complex. Their mistakes as well, and mistakes as in future potential, not as in this company has the money it says it has. Mm-hmm. That's FTX didn't have the money it said it had. And a big part of that is because they held FTT tokens that they said was worth ten billion and yeah. being zero. So the, the, you're like you're right, Zach, on that. The auditor has to be able to see through that and see yeah. there's some shitcoin I mean, token here that actually has no value. They would have followed ev- the valuation value. rule to value that token. I'm presuming, uh, I'm which is wrong. Actually. So they need to update their standards. This is who the governs curve. the auditors? The government? Or I don't know. Uh, well, no, no, they're um, the part of institutions. So like, like if you're like. Like who ace, keeps KPMG ace. accountable for their orders? Um, they are under no, the yeah, reg- financial regulation. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, they can. What they sit under, but that's why they get fined for failing yeah, order failure. Yeah. So I think it's a governmental thing. Okay. Anyway, that's a tangent completely. What are we talking about, Brian Armstrong? But interesting. <laughs> yeah. 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 Intra- audit weren't there I mean not many people tuning in to see but <laughs> you never that's know. a rough one for the <laughs> listeners I mean I'm quite interested in that because <laughs> yeah, if you're a Bitcoiner you should be as well because that is a big part of what's going well, on how can you trust these years. exchanges as yeah. A, yeah yeah I suppose um, so yeah I think uh, yeah it's a it's a big part of the industry and it's a big part of what we're going to have to do and deal with going forward yeah, so. Did have to, um, yeah I suppose you only really had um, see we put up we're slightly out there in terms of our accessibility. We do this pod. You're on Twitter. You're very accessible people. So does that gleam more trust than most Probably other exchanges like FTX? Sam, what was Sam doing? He was a lot on Twitter. <laughs> he did was some accessible. videos. He was. Did he have a people. podcast? Yeah, probably. Probably on a lot of them. He did the video of him eating the uh, whatever it was. What was yeah. it? Not like cucumber. Uh, so at that point, is there, is there trust from that? No, the weird know. video. I, mean, how do you, uh, no idea I missed that know. video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, you, you have seen it because we watched it. It was from like a year ago. Uh, and right. it was saying how he's a, this billionaire kid who wants to give away his money. Oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Seemed genuine from a nice background. Does when you watch like, that video, oh my God, that's cringy. That was yeah, but it. It looks even people, more cringy now watching it. People trusted him and his and his organisation. They did. And you got to think, right, why are people trusting him? And investors trusted him. Yeah. So that gives... Who was in there? Sequoia. Have loads of them, yeah. It's yeah. Way. So that again, you'd be like, looking Mr. At that Shark figure. Tank himself was yeah. uh, a big part of it. Yeah. I'd personally never trust a vegan. <laughs> but he was wasn't he really vegan, vegan, was he? He lied. No, he lied. Was that on, a lie that as was well? on the video. Never yeah. trust a vegan is one of your rules. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm with no, you on that one. Let's get a t shirt without. Never trust Merch, a vegan. Never trust a vegan. <laughs> never trust a vegan. I don't know many vegans. Well, there you go. So he no. wasn't even well, vegan. W- no, he wasn't. No, he lied about it. He, st- he, he came out and said he was lying about that. Um, just to, uh, <laughs> just just to thrill the vegan? Like, <laughs> sorry, who was the vegan? Sam? Yeah. 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 Saying he was a vegan. Did he just get thrills out of lying? Well, he, he, it was the whole... to be a vegan this week. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Watch them all. Make him look like Lap he's up. white and yeah. white and he's great yeah. and everything. I don't know why you think veganism is, is that, but that's what he thought. God. Yeah, that is a bit strange. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Local Bitcoin's shutting down. That came out of nowhere. Sometimes. It? it did really, didn't mm. it? They're quite like uh, 
what do you call it? Historic, aren't they? They are. The OGs, surely. They've been around, what, 10 years plus? Yeah. yeah 10, 11 years, and I think it was. No. Been it's a shame. Long time going. They've Early been getting... quiet up, up until... Yeah, it's been they paid. kind of disappeared, didn't they? Once in, the, in most recent years, mm. who, I should probably log in. Who and see runs? Them, who them. runs local Bitcoin? Who's the uh, CEO? Finland, They're actually one. yeah, Finnish, yeah, Finnish. Right. Um, Finnish. They yeah, but they've been around. Does that for that like mean they haven't got a CEO? They got, is there <laughs> anyone? They're actually yeah. Finnish. Yeah. 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 That wasn't the yeah. question yeah. he asked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the whole country runs. Yeah. That, that was a thing. Yeah, they do. So it's Sebastian Sontag. Seb. Sontag. Seb. I have no idea who he is, but yeah, um, it's a shame they've shut down. Behind the scenes for a long time without creating much of a social profile then. Maybe he's done that deliberately. I imagine, I think the, you know, they were a great place like years and years ago, but then they started to have to do KYC. So that all regulation came in for them in Finland. Um, they then, I think it's a combination of all of that. They've done Bitcoin only and stuck with that. Mm. Whereas like Binance have their own local market now, do they think? Like yeah. local Bitcoins. And you can do every shit coin under the sun under, under yeah. it. So people um, migrate into them ones rather than local Bitcoins. We had a quick analysis of local Bitcoins, didn't we, last week after it shut down. Mm. Eight million customers. Um, but their traffic to their website is... It, basically, it would be... Was it about five to ten times worse than what our traffic would be seeing now for the equivalent customer base? Um, so they've, you can see they've had massive drop, drop offs. Off, yeah. yeah, it's massive. Um, so we know bear market plus they've clearly had massive drop offs. If they had eight million customers, that clearly shows yeah. current traffic equivalents. We know would mean that their eight million customers are probably not doing anything, mm. and there might be hundred thousand max. Is maybe there just a something. lot of peer to peer options now? I think Binance probably sucked most of it. I think, think it was Binance. Binance, and I think there's... Yeah, there's... Yeah, you think do, Binance... do you think COVID killed it when you weren't allowed to meet? Well, well origi- no, I think Did originally... you meet up to do it? You used to be able to. No one followed that, those rules, Molly. That was oh. back in... Yeah, that was oh, back in... The, maybe you did. Bitcoin OG. <laughs> like, yeah, back... people used to meet up and oh, like, right. cash for Bitcoin. That was back in the early, early days. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. everything went oh. bank. I'm still living in 2015. Yeah. Right. Um, that was even before that, I'd have thought. I think we've gone to banking by then. You can still access the like the very first original uh, website for local bitcoins. Right. You can go on and they have a button like go on the time back. Oh, the, the, yeah, just, it's on their the website. Show. Yeah. Why do they do that? It's just cool, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, yeah, yeah. I'm is interested. Our first website. Yeah. I'm gonna go and click that. Do you think Binance <laughs> might just kind of try and swoop up, buy them, or they said they're just gonna close and just withdraw everything. They've got 12 months basically to close all the accounts and withdraw all the bitcoin from there. Um, yeah, I, I, someone, you know, 8 million customers there mm. that have theoretically registered. As I said there, maybe there's only up to 100,000 actually doing anything these days on there. So maybe that's why they've slowly died and died and died. Um, don't know. It's a shame, isn't it? I think mm. it is. Yeah, it is a shame. They've, they've always been, always done things. Yeah. It's well, weird because people might think, oh, we we want exchanges to shut down because we'll get more customers theoretically. But I, I like the more businesses in the space, I think is always better. It's stronger for the They, they might be building, innovating in the background. You don't know what they're doing. But in, yeah. I would just say interesting is had to shut down rather than like try and get funding or yeah, we'll maybe see. they did and they couldn't or maybe, maybe they just lost interest. Maybe Seb's just retiring. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sitting on the beach. You can blame him. Regulation squeezing. These people will start running. Yeah. It's anyway. a shame. Uh, cracking, we touched on stable coins. Uh, stable coins with the SEC. Mm-hmm. Paxos. Yeah. Is stable coin a security, Dave? Yeah, we were talking about this, weren't we? This and is so what you guys were arguing before yeah. the pod. Pre-pod. Yeah, yeah so we were, we were looking at the, the old Howie test. We mentioned it about a million times on this pod, but I like it. And it tells you what's a security or not. So we were just thinking, how does this... So I think you have to pass every element of the Howey test to be a security. Should, should we preface this with, actually, this has nothing to do with stable coins? No, because you kind of ruin it by doing that. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> so it's like, what's the point in this Spoiler whole alert. discussion? No, but that's but, not why the SEC have declared... It's not declaring it a security, is it? They've declared that the that Paxos didn't uh, declare... Uh, what was it investor yeah. precautions yeah some news was. articles are saying it's because it's an unregistered security yeah. but they're obviously wrong the, I offer, the offering yeah. is an unregistered 
unregistered with the SEC. Yeah. It's not a security as such, I don't so think. So they're not saying so, the stable coin is a security. So you can do, not saying the stable coin, they're saying the mechanism of uh, printing the stable issuing coin, it. of issuing it, is the the SEC mechanism that makes you fall, or the mechanism that makes you fall under the SEC's right. remit. Um, but that then just means you need to register with them for the mechanism of issuing the stable coin. Then the usage outside of that is not a, a security oh. token as such. I, Technically, whether you want to class it as a security token, I don't know. So it's because it's Binance's stablecoin, and they haven't followed those rules, and Paxos were what pushing Binance's stablecoin, then they've fallen under the... Paxos was Binance's provider of the stablecoin. Oh, were they? So they yeah. issued the, to the token, oh, they issued okay. the coin. So it's oh, them. That's Binance just stop. put their brand on it. And... Is that what they do now? Uh, white label <laughs> the stablecoin. Like Virgin, like yeah. Virgin Money and Virgin Holiday, Virgin Airline. That's what they do. That's Richard Branson's business model. Uh, so all right, anyway, so that probably does mute everything we were discussing because we were discussing is a stable coin. Does it pass all the elements of the Howie test? So the Howie test is, is it an investment of money? I've got them written down in front of me. So does it require an investment of money? So I would say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a common enterprise. So is it, um, what does a common enterprise mean? Can you remember? No. Oh, but yeah. You that. printed out the most basic version of the Howie <laughs> test. Is there an expectation of profit? So are you going to gain? But that's, that's the stable coin's a weird one for that because mm. people don't buy a stable coin thinking an expectation of profit. Yeah, would we be should. My point. Well, we should also say, well, this is all spec. Like we don't really know the full details. Of this. this is our. Oh no, no. Yeah, but this is the how we test. So you can apply this to any coin that you're pretty much buying and saying, is it a security or not? Yeah. But so the, this is. Sorry, but still I'd, important. Yeah. So when I was saying about what I touched on earlier, what Adam Backer tweeted, which was interesting, uh, which makes sense, they're saying it's backed one to one which then is saying you get 0% returns, which is like you're not getting a return, yeah. but you're guaranteed to, they're saying like effectively you're guaranteed to get your dollar back if you go and cash it in, but actually you're not because that dollar is backed, if it is backed one to one, but it's in a bank, there's a risk of that bank going bankrupt and losing the money or like FTX yeah. stealing the money. But at it does take away the expectation of profit. Dollar back, you? So the expectation of profit goes at that point, right? But of with, but with back. profit, but yeah. not of a return. So you yeah. might, so that I think that was why the, they're shouting at Paxos at the minute because they didn't disclose that you could still lose all your money by holding the stable coin. Right. I think that was my okay. understanding. Um, and the last element of the Howie test, just to complete the four, is derived from the efforts of others. So like an, uh, an organization behind it. That's just everything in life is derived no, from not, the efforts of others. It, but could you argue that Bitcoin, is the success of Bitcoin is still derived, that is, is is so solely linked from the efforts of others. Yeah. Does it, would it be a, a, a resource without anyone's efforts or an organization's efforts? An organization's efforts. Mm. Organization. Yeah, but community efforts. Yeah, Bitcoin wouldn't wear it yeah. without other people's efforts because it's community driven. Yeah. Thing. But would it be here without organizations, companies yeah. like Coin Corner? It probably won't be as far along as it. But it would, could still. But it, it could, could still, still exist. It could still, it's still be. Pay -pay. It could still yeah. exist, right? Yeah. Is the point. It did. Well, it did exist for a couple of years like before it's, companies it's, really. Yeah. So it's on. existence separately from the organisation. Yeah. So you'd ask you like, you look at some other coins and they have they always quote. If you look at Coin Market Cap and right, read some old coins, they're always like, mm -hmm. this organisation created it and yeah. this is what they plan to do with it. Bloody body. So you can't separate them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Would Shib be here today if it wasn't for Shib's organisation? Yeah. So it's always interesting the how we test to come back to it. But you're right. This this is probably unrelated to that completely. I think I, I could be wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I, you hope I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I was trying to find... Danny is so wrong. Well, there's the not the much card. information as the issue, isn't it? Yeah. There's a Coindesk article that had some wording around Because they've just why. hit them with... Is it called a Wells? Oh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they just say, we're planning on suing you, you have 30 days. But that's all that's come out, really. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> yeah. You get that just a heads up. <laughs> we're planning on suing just you. Just a heads up. Uh, the whole of the Securities and Exchange Commission is coming after you. Yeah. This is just a little letter of get yourself ready. Yeah. So I tried to find that actual lawyer, letter. Lawyer up, you so. couldn't, so it was an insider that leaked. That yeah. They got it. So there, was all... some, there was some wording that I came across that was meant to have explained it. I now can't find it. Um, Let's not... see if I can find. Yeah, probably Nothing official has come out yet. So. Wasn't it from anyone? It was just a leaked insider of this Wells notice is all I know. Right. And then the New York regulator have told them to stop issuing any new uh, BUSD. So there's a few a few red flags, right? Yeah. Yeah. And CZ was tweeting about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, we haven't got all day for Danny and Google. <laughs> no, I'm trying to find, <laughs> there's, there's some, find some word. In. We're enjoying it. It was the terminology I read that then made me think, okay, the reasoning behind it is because they've not disclosed investor protection, the investor protection law. They basically broke the investor protection law um, under the SEC to basically not giving the right disclosures to say you could lose all your money and all this sort of stuff because they've not done that. That's why they're suing them. Right. Um, which is why then Kraken have then just said, oh, forget it and paid the fine and shut up shop for the time being. I wonder if... Gary's on a wall path. In the, he is, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, he said I he's going to. He's, he's always going the case. It's, it's just, just like videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, videos. Just been on the recruitment drive. Friendly wall path. <laughs> loads and loads of people. He was twiddling the thumbs. Like, Guys, you need something to do. Get after everyone. I'm just he because we still haven't seen XRP's taken about five years. How long what? is all this gonna take? I'm wondering if this is all setting a precedent for the ripple. Oh, things get these uh, get these early wins in early oh, to yeah, show. Right. Yeah, there's these are security tokens and this is what should happen and so on and so on and then they can hit ripple. It's with. a busy 2023 for the SEC, isn't it? Really, it's probably why all the small ones that they've hit because they've hit a load of small ones to say like some of the ICO ones and stuff like they've already hit them and found them guilty as as security tokens, mm. but that then, in theory, I guess that's precedent for the bigger cases like mm -hmm. Ripple. Ripple have got yeah. billions of dollars to fight back against it, which is what they've been doing, whereas the smaller ones don't and they just shut up shop and disappear. So they've now got wins on the record against these smaller ones, which can probably go and help mm. the case for, for the Ripple one to beat them. Mm. Um, I don't know. I, Gary, against, I'm, you're you're a fan. I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> the, Why are you, you a fan could, of Gary Gensler? You could have worse people in there. I mean, he's hilarious on the videos. <laughs> I've not but watched many he, of the videos, to be fair. The video, I have more watched. Does he mean to be funny? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's done. He's an old, he's I mean, a It's MIT a weird lecturer. way of going about yeah. things, though, isn't it? So, it is, but he's tried to bring some personality. He's to be funny about finding yeah. people millions of pounds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is the, yeah. It's like a police chief going out and put cracking jokes before going. We're <laughs> talking about what their intentions are, really. Yeah. yeah. So, it's yeah. a fine line. It is a yeah. fine line because um, it should be taken seriously. But. Um, he's trying to bring like a personality to the SEC and do something a bit. Yeah, different. why? Yeah, but that's for that's for him, right? The marketing department. Yeah, because yeah. so yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 Like we need some more friendly guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, if you get want TV, Twitter. if you want TV work after the <laughs> SEC thing is over, you need to get some character it, in these it could be videos. That. He was a university lecturer, wasn't he? So he's br he's bringing oh, a little bit of that. He just wants to be seen as like approachable and friendly. Yeah, that's what he's and trying to do. And then fine you. But I mean, yeah, but what is you don't need an approach to the friendly head of the SEC, do you? Security. He's not going to go on and start working for CBBS and doing <laughs> bedtime stories. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> What's his... But what he's doing though, forgetting all that, what he's doing though is, I guess I don't know. In my head, it, a lot of it does make lots of like you just come run through the Howie test and mm. working out, and then a lot of that makes sense. And yes, that's a security, and this is security, yeah. and X, Y, and Z is. So a lot of that makes sense. So what is he? The Coinbase thing and the Kraken thing, I can understand a little bit more backlash for that because he's basically said, what you guys are doing is not right, we're fining you, rather than say, actually, guys, you should have been doing it this way because there was no there was no law, there was no um, set in stone way of how to do these staking things because there were new concepts. So he should have just worked with them closer, yes, to figure out the concept and make that work. Um, but for the most part, he's... He's generally going in the kind of right direction. You've got it's I mean, regulations already, uh, very a, difficult balancing game. Um, he's already said he's a fan of Bitcoin, right? And yeah, he's already yeah. said that like Bitcoin is not a security. Yeah, it's under commodities, if anything. Yeah, so it, is Bitcoin the winner out of all of this? Which he's slowly pushing towards. Yeah, which yeah, if you're a Bitcoin only guy, then it's actually quite beneficial in some respects. It's that tightening of making sure them particular regulations don't pull bitcoin companies like ourselves in and end up squeezing us in ways that we shouldn't but we're being lumped in with all the crypto yeah it is a fine line it's difficult um but there could be worse in place you worse could have Gary. you could have worse in that you could have oh, of course you could. He's, he's definitely he's at least informed and educated on the is. subject yeah. um, I, I always bang on about it there's a, a whole set of you about 22 youtube videos of him doing lectures at mit about cryptocurrencies bitcoin and everything blockchain stuff and everything so he knows all about it he is more informed than most people throw in shade and he's got one about ethereum being a security hasn't he i think there's that's where i first saw about the howie test <laughs> but it seems, yeah. it seems yeah. to, who appointed him it seems quite a strange appointment like yeah. in terms I don't of know. Yeah. Don't know. the u.s government isn't f full of people that knowledgeable in 
in those sort of roles as it you see all those I mean, maybe commissions that they have and the questioning that Zuckerberg they might gets brought in and all the... because though he'd done all that and he's done all the MIT lectures and stuff yeah. Yeah. because he knows any stuff and he's coming in to basically head up what would be a lot of cryptocurrency going forward so are you you're putting out there that you're a big fan of <laughs> that's <laughs> what I want to hear Gary. that's what people want to hear you're a big fan of Gary <laughs> Gessler yes or no <laughs> who, who isn't he loves him <laughs> he does love him doesn't um, he no, I, there could be a lot worse. He's oh, doing yeah. slightly swayed by MIT lectures. Soft spot for anyone from MIT. <laughs> no, that's definitely not the case. Yeah. Um, no, there could be a lot worse in there, and he's doing all right, I think, for the most part. I got completely rug pulled by meeting someone once, and they had that they had like done some MIT courses, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Wow, you went to MIT? I wanted to know about it." And they said, "Oh no, it's just online." Yeah, I was like, like oh, "Do the online oh, Harvard?" Yeah, it was a LinkedIn stuff, yeah. bio thing. I was just like, "Oh." I've watched it. probably about half, I think, of, of his lectures on MIT. So, you, so you I've went to MIT? done MIT lectures, yeah. So I also went there to we MIT. Go. Add it to your LinkedIn. They do a good array <laughs> of online courses now that you could do and yeah. save them some MIT courses. It's just something about the name, isn't it? It carries a lot of weight. Why don't you watch them, Gary Gensel ones? I've seen some of them, yeah. Watch them, yeah. So you can see then what he's like, what he's talking about, his knowledge coming yeah. into this, and you've then been to MIT. Okay. Ticking all the boxes. <laughs> I'm sure that <laughs> Um, uh, last one, IMF saying El Salvador, El Salvador's Bitcoin risks have not materialized. Yeah. But, but that hurt them to say that. But they're kind of saying that it didn't materialize because no one's using the currency. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. It's like trying to like, yeah, admit something, but with a kick at the same time. Well, it's kind of true though. We know of usage over there, isn't it? What you'd want it to adopt as a currency. So they, it's. Fair enough. I think the yeah, we'll a lot of people Bitcoin world will be reading that saying, "Oh, I told you so," but there's it's two sides to every coin on that. There's not enough usage in El Salvador for those risks to be materialized. Do yeah. you think the tourism bump from it has significantly helped them? Well, the expected growth this year is like two point four percent up on GDP again, which is better growth than the UK, but they're coming from a lower position, right? Mm. Mm. So it should be so they are, easier yeah. I mean, growth. But most but of that, any, if it's any, come from Bitcoin alone, most of that, then that's pretty impressive. But we don't know if it's come no, from Bitcoin alone. Too many variables. But So there's some good news, but yeah. Where else would it have come from, is the question. Yeah. I, don't, I'm not, I don't know, I'm looking for I don't know, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's yeah, the know. biggest in, um, export? Uh, so you could say growth in any export market. Coffee, maybe? No, coffee. No, a massive assumption because it's South. Yeah, uh, like Central and. Because we, we had them. We've got them. Yeah, I like Are you saying coffee? Salvadorian beans? No, coffee's yeah. in the top three. Okay. Yeah, it's coffee's top. I think yeah. top coffee. Yeah. Clothes, yeah. maybe? Um, we were looking at them the other day, weren't we? But I can't, yeah, I can't, remember, I can't even remember. I've got the Mikey's. I'm waiting for Mikey to be faster on the keyboard. Yeah. Just keep talking. I've got a spreadsheet. Yeah, Joe, Rogan's get, Joe Rogan's guy gets it like uh, that. Yeah, Jamie. Oh, what? So you're comparing them? Yeah, we've wow, got Mike. We should put Mike in. We, <laughs> we've got Mikey slowing us down here. He didn't even Trump. help me out with that that bakery in the, in yeah, the UK. He didn't even try, mate. He didn't even stared, try. Stared empty eyes. Against the cock there, dude. No, 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 mate. Do you want me to find it, now? Mikey? I'll Don't. Try, yeah, oh, you're going to try and lap him if I start I'll, later. I'll see. Well, I've got the email with all the, the spreadsheets. Yeah, right. so textiles the seems to be their highest one. Textiles. You didn't you say coffee. <laughs> I said clothes afterwards. Oh, did you? I oh, did. Yeah, yeah. Just naming the industries afterwards. <laughs> I said coffee, coffee top, top three, probably clothes. Is coffee top three? Uh, please don't. <laughs> no, not top three. Uh, I can I can tell you. Coffee, there. coffee <laughs> is eighth, tenth. Ah, top ten. <laughs> top ten, and I got what's the top two? one. So what's two? So uh, like. What's two? Yeah. Well, this What's weird textiles three? takes up the top two. The top one is knitted sweaters, pullovers, vests, and similar products, and it's knitted t-shirts. I pretty much have you got nailed it. Oh, no, a lot it's of clothes. transport and package up, packaging articles made of plastic. I've got different, oh, okay. different yeah. details to you. This was twenty twenty one. Coffee contains. So your top one was textiles. Yeah. Sugar is the one we've got from Sugar. our data analysis. Sugar comes in at fourth on this one. Sugar's number one on this one. Then coffee, it's cocoa, tea, etc. Then clothing. I mean, I've absolutely nailed this. So. You tried to embarrass me. Depends on the data. Both sets of data from. I mean, that's, there. So that's data ex sources. Exports, imports, though, as well, because we've got imports as well. Imports is a weird one, isn't it? Electrical goods, which obviously might be quite standard for a lot of countries. Um, miscellaneous metal. Uh, Another miscellaneous one. Furniture then is number four, and plastics. Furniture, furniture being here for. Are they both lists globally or is one region based on? 
UK. Oh, yeah, my bad. That's UK. This, oh. is, inter this is international mm, trade. Nice one, well, well, this is, yeah. nice. oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is your oh, guys' department nice. that's giving me this info. <laughs> yeah, but the info is right. You're just got referencing it. In I am referencing it, yeah. So sugar is biggest for the UK. Oh, thanks, Danny. We didn't ask that question. We didn't, no. El Salvador's you've got that answer now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Thanks, Mikey. What was what were we even talking about there? The tourism bump. Oh yeah, so, we, <laughs> so we were like, tourism isn't one of the massive um, no. industries. By the it's massive it. growth though uh, since the Bitcoin. Yeah, thing. but you just proportionately, it could be bigger growth in like tech. Yeah, tech, yeah, it could be, but textile costs have bumped that. Yeah, yeah. you've got to think though. It It'd be Bitcoin. interesting to find. No, out, you'd, you'd, yeah. you'd want it to be, but if it's never, not necessarily. Is have they never had it? a? Was it something? What was it? They never had a not positive. Growth. There was some or double digits, wasn't mm. it? Never had double digits before okay. in history, and then they had last that last year, year before. Yeah. I think it's just too early to call, but from anyone's point of view, IMF or Bitcoin to say. Yeah, oh, obviously, yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. they're like fifty percent down in the holdings yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. So they've been buying a lot of Bitcoin, and they are down, right? Are they still buying? Was it a Bitcoin a day? Apparently, well, yeah. it's not too transparent, though, is it? No, there's no, no official. No, you Can't just tweet it, didn't you? Yeah, you almost need to see their address, don't you? That's public mm. address, and you can see the one going into it every day or something like. That. Yeah, and there's bigger concerns the re-election thing coming up, isn't it? You mentioned that mm. before. Is that another year? Twenty twenty-four. Yeah, so he's yeah. just hoping he gets re-elected, which they're technically not allowed to. Yeah, but that's the problem. He has to change the law in order to get re-elected. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so anyway, wait and see how that plays out. But the risks have not materialized, which I know they're saying it's not. It's because the Bitcoin's not been used enough, but I also would debate that concept because what their risks, what were their risks, would be the first question actually. But just because it's not been used in enough, doesn't mean to say even if it was used ten times more, what would yeah the risks increase? to me were the treasury they're buying loads and obviously it drops yeah so which is they outside seem to just of briefly pass by that outside thing. of it being used concept so yeah. it's like a completely they put different. a significant chunk of their treasury in it. Mm -hmm. And that was the That's original the risk, risk of the IMF yeah. saying about it against the dollar and stuff. But actually, this risk they're talking about then is because it's not being used wisely enough. Is not really a risk that they. Yeah, it was a bit of a non-statement. I read it weird. this morning. It was a bit like. Uh, well, they were visiting, weren't they? So they had uh, to make okay. a statement. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's a non-statement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta say something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they should just yeah they're they're admitting they're wrong, but then they're trying to soften that blow with because it's not being widely used. But actually, then it's that's a pointless comment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, TLDR, mm -hmm. countries need to adopt Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> the IMF are wrong. Yeah. Was that all the news? That is all the news. We've got no Coin Corner news this week. What? Come on, we can make some up. Come on. <laughs> Molly, come on. You come on, Molly. I, I got nothing. We've nothing. got nothing. 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 We've got the Merchant of the Month. We've got Merchant of the Month. Oh, yeah. I actually just had a cup of tea. Merchant. Oh, how was it? Delicious. Nice. Was it actually? Yeah. Okay. So it was, you, just, what? you just tried the tea and tonic. What tea did you have? Was it? The, oh. the English breakfast wellness tea. Was it? Was it? Flavour profile. Sniff it, it smells nice. In comparison to... Was it smooth, multi richness with herbaceous like tones? Everyone loves herbaceous like tones. No, it doesn't. It smells a little bit different. He wants to sniff my tea bag. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll sniff our own. I'm with you, Mikey. I'm with you, Mikey. I'm with you, Mikey. That just sounds so rude. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only if you're so no, 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 no. You don't have to be that crudely minded to say that was a bit. I don't know. Do you want to sniff my tea bag? <laughs> um, yeah. oh, no, no, it I smells don't. a bit minty, that one. You can. That smells completely different to that. Yeah, it does. Sniff my tea bag. No, no, thank you. It was nice. It was really nice. I'm, I'm just normally like a normal breakfast girl tea. Um, but that one's got a slight. Oh. I was gonna try. I was gonna say I'll try the other one, but that one's for sleepness, sleeping. So I'm probably best not to try that today. Oh God! What you're gonna drop? Drop dead once you yeah. have it, like straight away. Drop no, dead. Sleep. <laughs> well, I mean, it's sleep. It's for sleeping. Immediately fall asleep. Fruit for tea. <laughs> yeah, very extreme. Cool extreme tea. scenarios, and yeah. the usual oil. Nice. Nice. Yep. Twenty percent off throughout February using code twenty Bitcoin at Tea and Tonic, which is tandtonic.co.uk. Cracking. Nice. nice. And we've got okay. no other coin corner news. We've got nothing. Come on, we can think of something. Guys, we've got nothing. The guys are back from ICE. That nobody cared about. <laughs> nobody cared about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they seem to have a good time. They, yeah, they said it was good. Um, How are the expenses? All right, actually. 
In line. In line. In line, okay. It's always On my budget. big worry when people send me photos of themselves enjoying themselves at these conferences. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> with two drinks and Yeah, hands. and I'm just like, you better, I better <laughs> not see that come through. But when, you know, when it's you going... Yeah. Different story. Yeah, Different yeah, story. story. Yeah. We had to go to the top of the Burj Khalifa. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I have to Pay- stay in this five-star hotel. Yeah. yeah. Paying as well the top end premium for the top of the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Uh, tall, you don't get you know. your canopies on the normal ticket. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Glass of champagne is water. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was actually a pure accident that we paid for. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> paid for the complete that's wrong. That's the story. Wrong that's the story. hotel. And when we yeah. get back. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I started that everything store as well by that Jeff Bezos okay. book. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. You've just reminded me. Thank you for reminding me. I'm you are welcome. Nearly at the end of Atomic Habits, as Tony Molly before. Yeah. yeah. And do you know, I always say, why didn't you, you guys ever mention this to me in the book? They talk about the uh, people are lazy. Yeah. So my thing I would say about with. I don't anything, want to give you too much credit. People are lazy, and that's how you build products and build a business around people being lazy. You try and help solve their problems of trying to get from A to B yeah. you know, the quickest. Uh, least energy usage they can and there's actually they talk about it in the book and yeah. there's a, a law that's called which I wasn't even aware of the law of least effort I think it's called the no. law of least effort and apparently loads of physics things and everything are all based on this law and that is a very well known thing that yeah people try and get from A to B with the least effort possible and Did we not? I think we talked about I think physics me and Molly both brought this up did you really? Yeah. I don't remember that yeah. I don't remember just no, it's just lying. It's <laughs> just trying to make it up. Yeah, it's um, a good book, though, right? But yeah, it's a good book, and uh, that is, it was really interesting to hear that mm-hmm. that angle. Yeah, Have people, you guys seen that Jeff Bezos video with the floppy disk? No. Saw that for the first time this weekend. It's a super old video, like early Amazon. He's always sat in his office. He's no, always... he's talking about they used to take cash. For orders oh, at no, Amazon. Oh, no, I have. I do know the one and, you're talking um, about. And they sold some books to someone in Russia, and they were paying by cash. So they hid it, the cash inside of a yeah. floppy disk, and they wrote on the floppy disk, the cash is in the floppy disk. Because yeah, <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah. the border agents used to go in and steal cash, but they couldn't read English. Mm-hmm. So it was <laughs> just a floppy <laughs> so disk. Yeah. 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 Nice. It was a funny video. That's mad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's so, so loving you've, it so far. You've enjoyed that one. They've got those little steps. Yeah, I've got Are about you going to change any, change any of your habits to try and improve yourself as um, a person? I don't know how you can be kinder to people. <laughs> More of kinder minded. It's, it's a hard one. Uh, yeah, but you started having cold shower, didn't you? I've done a few things that I've. We, Little that, things we'll, like that. We'll come on to them sort of ones. Even though you. Maybe future episodes. I know it's you yeah. that slagged off people who have cold showers. No, I just yeah. don't. There's yeah. a lot of people in well, the It's only because I've read that. Wim Hof's book and I thought it was a ball of, <laughs> a load of rubbish. Gib, Gib loves it. Yeah. Gib he can't it. get it cold enough. Though. He can't get cold enough. Get a cold tub three times colder than showers. Yeah. So I'm not doing that yet. I'm still. But I try and do bits every day now yeah. to try and increase learning and whatnot. Anyway. Yeah, we've got something coming, haven't we, that will be kind of yeah. tied into that as well. Another so. tease. Nothing yeah. to do with Bitcoin. No, nothing. No. Or well, maybe. You can, there's mm. probably a way to get Bitcoin in there too. i got a way. What are you going to move on to after that book then? Uh, nothing. I've got nothing. Has anyone got suggestions? Ooh, take Last what? time I tried Ask the audience. That, that was, Atomic Habits was your suggestion, wasn't it? Or was it Dave's? No, that's when Dave asked me for a suggestion. Uh, and it was mine, wasn't it? Anyway, yeah, maybe. What was well, your, it was my book of the year. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, it was, it was Molly's book of the year. That. Give you that. What's your suggestion now? My suggestion, mm, Bernard Cornwell. <laughs> um, Class. Sharp's <laughs> Gold. The Sharp series, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are these like. Nice. The eighth in the series, Sharp's Gold, is a particular highlight. Are these like stories of like made up. <laughs> no, they're real fiction, but based it's on real historical events. events. Yeah. The Peninsula Wars fought in. The, Early 19th the century. By I'm, not, I'm not interested in that. No. <laughs> yeah. I, need, I need some uh, yeah, b- well, business, not, financial, a, yeah, okay. life. Let me have a think. Health, all them sort of ones. Really? Like that. Yeah. You need to try a bit of fiction. No. I what are you reading that. at the moment? Anyway, we, we, we could probably just end this pod yeah. now. Yeah, right? we could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What are you reading? Yeah. It's, it's an only book. We're just not having a chit chat. <laughs> we'll, yeah. ne- we'll see next week what new book will come out. With. Right, okay. I'll have a look. Right. Cheerio, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Peace.